I finally have a friend! Thanks, Sars. Yeah, I don't make a habit of walking into men's dressing rooms. Once every season, there is that one race that turns things on its head. And more often than not, it's this place right here. Expect the unexpected. Fans and riders have descended on the small mountain town of Snowshoe for round seven of the Mercedes-Benz UCI Cross Country World Cup. And if history is anything to go by, we have no idea what's going to happen in this race. I mean, Friday's short track threw up two USA winners and Gwendolyn Gibson recording her first ever World Cup win. Who could have predicted that? And speaking of the unexpected, we saw Nino Scherzer have one of the worst crashes of his career. And at this early stage, we're not even sure if he's going to race. We are so excited to be here in the mecca of European and world CrossFit in CrossFit Reykjavik. And I was scanning the crowd a little bit earlier and I noticed a recognizable face. So Bjorn Kalgamason, get over here. <laughs> You have been a part of a couple of open announcements. Yes. What makes them so special? For more on that, here's Lauren Smith. Thanks, Sean. These are my top five performances of the AGQ quarterfinals presented by Whoop. And we're going to kick things off with a recognizable name and a five times games athlete, Frederick Agidius. Matcha van der Poel is the name on everyone's lips. The Dutchman has won seven out of the last seven short track races he has entered. But tonight there is a new competitor lining up alongside him in Great Britain's Tom Pidcock. Hey, Tom Pidcock, Matcha van der Poel, sprint <laughs> finish. Did you know he was going to push you so hard today? <laughs> Technical issues seem to be plaguing you over the last two yeah. weekends. How do, you, how do you iron that out ahead of Sunday? Well, inexperience, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Cecilia Tui Blatu. Oh my gosh, isn't she just amazing? What an unbelievable, I say prospect, it's not even like she's a prospect anymore because she's out here doing the business every single week. That's her second try in what, two games? Yeah, she, honestly, she is such a fierce, fierce like human. What did you feel Fiji were doing that was creating such a challenge for the team to get her head around? Oh, they, they were just, I mean, they, they were playing through us, you know, really big, strong carrying game. How important is it for you to show everyone who potentially doubted you a little bit this season that you're still capable? Capable of winning these big races. I had also I wasn't sure myself if I even can do it. It's Wednesday and I have been invited down to the inner sanctum where Wales women train, the barn and the centre of excellence. For context, we've had a week off and it's coming a really good time after that gut-wrenching defeat to England a couple of weeks ago. But we're not gonna let that get us down. We've got a brand new week ahead and it all starts with a little bit of Friday Night Lights and France. Let's see how the girls are getting on. You're walking down this corridor. What are you thinking about just before you head into the changing room? I'm not having that big one. I'm on a diet. <laughs> right, oh, same, same. As a 10 slash 12, when they are instructed, how do you deal with that like in real terms on the pitch? Is it important for you to leave Racing with the trophy? It's, uh, it's why I play the game. And there were some scathing comments, wasn't there, from Chris Boyd last week. Did you feel there was a point to prove? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys are so close. She was saying how proud she was to watch you run out. That kind of camaraderie amongst the squad, how important is that? Yeah, it's super special and I, I'm truly gutted not to like be here with Jess. I spy a familiar face in the crowd and, I mean, we're very happy to see you back at Racing G. How are you doing? So your top three from men's qualification was Finn Isles taking top spot. The lone European, Benoit Coulange, in second and in third. It was Lucas Shaw, as you just mentioned. But of course, the big day comes tomorrow. So make sure you guys join us live on Red Bull TV, where we will have all of the action. And overall's on the line. <laughs> it's on the line! Reese, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the err about? Well, I fell over. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> commitment, that's good commitment.